In a faraway dimension, Satan went to war with his armies against humans. He then faced a great hero and disappeared into a portal. Then his armies were defeated. Now in Satan's empty castle, there comes a woman with white hair to take it over. In another world Satan is now sat out, and he is a normal human. He is angry at his neighbor Emmy for having a better apartment. Shiro is trying to teach Hanzo how to be organized and live a good life. Hanzo starts to chase a bug in the apartment. Sadao shares more about his past with Chiho and admits that he never met his parents. The group sees a mysterious child getting born. This child is called, Alas Ramus, and she is very cute. Also she tells everybody her father is Sadao and her mother is Emmy. Everybody is confused. Alas Ramus starts to cry very loudly when Sadao tells her that he is not her father. Emmy is the only one who can stop the girl from crying. The group starts to decide who will take Alas to live with them. Suzuno offers to take care of the girl. All the girls love Alas because she is so cute so they love spending time with her. Sadao tells Chiho that she is the only one he can trust. This makes her cry from happiness. Sadao decides to help Alas and work extra hard at the restaurant to earn enough money. Both Emmy and Sadao take Alas for a trip a giant magic gate opens in another dimension. There are several angel soldiers and they want to restore the tree of life. Hanzo feels that something is wrong and that a big gate has opened. Sadao and Emmy take Alas on a trip around town and they have a lot of fun. They take her to a fountain which Alas loves. Emmy sees how kind Sadao is with the child so she starts to feel nervous and emotional around him. A friend that works with Emmy is also following the couple with Shiro. This woman is called Suzuki and she likes Shiro a bit. Sadao reveals that when he was young he met an angel that saved him. This angel gave him a crystal that he took care of for many years. Alas was born from this crystal. Soldiers arrive from another dimension and they want to take away Alas Ramus. Sada refuses and Chiho also steps in. The soldiers leave but promise to return tomorrow for the child. The group plans how they are going to save Alas and stop the soldiers. Sada and Emi plan on how to defend Alas tomorrow when the soldiers arrive. Suzuno reveals the story of the Tree of Life. Sadao decides to risk his own life to protect and save Alas. Emmy and Sadao tell a story to Alas to make her fall asleep. Emmy realizes how kind and good Sadao is. The soldiers arrive for Alas and she gets angry and activates her powers. A big battle happens. The angel Gabriel fights against Alas and Emmy, while Sadao takes out other angel fighters and goes to help. Gabriel is very powerful but Alas combines with Emmy's sword and he runs away. After that Sadao is sad that Alas is gone but she reveals herself to him. He is happy to have her back and Emmy wants to help him more. Sadao is alone in his office looking at pictures of Alas because he is now a proud father. Sadao calls for a job opportunity but it's in Egypt. Sadao must take the job because he needs the money. The whole crew travels with Sadao to his new job. Alas is especially happy when they arrive at the train station. They soon arrive at their new job and there they have a lot of cleaning. They have to clean a restaurant that is on the beach and Sada wants to get to work as fast as possible. The group all spend some time relaxing after work but then a strange sound scares Alas. Emmy tries to tell Alas that everything is okay. A dangerous fog is coming from the sea. Sada and his friends are in trouble but they do not know it yet. This beach is famous for its fog but it's very scary. Even Shiro is very worried about it. Fog appears everywhere and Sada and Shiro meet a giant demon soldier. The fog is very dangerous and the demon does not speak a human language. The fog starts to attack Sadao but Hanzo defends him. We are then introduced to Cameo, he is a very close friend to Sadao. Hanzo and Amelia talk about their past enemies and how dangerous they could be. Hanzo is not really worried, he just doesn't want anything bad to happen so he can play video games. Cameo and Alas get introduced and she chases him around because he is a cute bird. Sadao reveals that Cameo helped him with his demon army. Emmy does not want Alas to get hurt while playing with Cameo. Cameo reveals that the demon castle and the island are in total chaos. Cameo reveals that a human destroyed the peace in the other dimension. He made everybody go to war again. This human was called Alba Mayer. Another big fog appears and many demons arrive. Emmy fuses Alas with her sword and starts to fight the flying demons. Sadao activates his Satan form and scares all the demons. They know that he is their king so they bow down. Sadao and Emmy are a good team in battle. Emmy and Sadao join their powers to close the giant demon gate. It's revealed that the beach is filled with souls that are lost and the lady in charge protects them. She pays Sadao and his friends for their help and they leave the beach. Emmy wants to know how Sadao got his powers. He reveals that a magic stone helped him. Sadao also promises to defeat Emmy when he is back at full power. We see how Chiyo spends her time at home. She talks with her dad and eats some cookies. They have a very nice life. Suddenly her dad's brother calls him and something bad has happened in the meantime Emmy is making fun of Shiro for not cleaning the apartment well enough. The group all join Chiho and her mom. Her grandmother was attacked by a boar but she is fine. Hanzo has a hard time in the car so he throws up in a bag. Sadao and his friends arrive at Chiho's family house. Hanzo is still feeling very sick. 
Soon the entire group gathers at the table and their Chiho's uncle Manji thanks them for coming to help. Sadao meets the rest of the family and realizes that Chiho was so good with Alas because she has many young cousins. Sadao also promises her grandmother that they will take care of all the work at the farm or in the house. Emi also offers to work for the family. She has a lot of experience on a farm so she thinks she can help them a lot. Chiho and Sadao have a romantic walk during the night and talk about their friends and family. All the friends work very hard on the farm all day. Sadao and Emi have to work together on plants and they have to be very careful. After that, they take the young kids for a walk. While walking with the kids a giant bear appears in the field. The bear is very scary so the kids start to cry. Sadao tells Shiro to protect the kids and their mother while he and Emi fight the dangerous bear. Emi starts to fight the bear. She is very strong and uses her special magic to beat the bear up. Everybody is happy and Emi is a bit tired from the fight. Later in the house the father and husband of those people that Emi saved are very grateful. Emmy is a bit confused because it was no problem for her. Emmy does not want Alas to find out she beat up a bear. She is very worried but then her friend tells her that Alas is sleeping and she is safe. Sato and Shiro go talk with the man in charge of the neighborhood. He reveals that someone has been stealing vegetables from the fields. Later at home Sato, Emmy, and the rest of the group plan how to catch the thief. Emmy and Sato remember that they saw a black car in the fields. Maybe it's that person putting vegetables in his truck. The group plans to attack these thieves that are stealing from the field. One night they catch them and Shiro captures one thief. It seems that they want to steal from the field and destroy it after. Sato turns into his devil form and punishes those evil people. Emmy gets a strange call from another dimension. A friend of hers tells her that they might have found her mother. Emmy has never met her mother so she is confused. Emmy is still taking care of Alas and maybe wants to meet her own mother. Gabrielle is still on earth and spending time with a random human. There are new problems at the Sato house. The biggest problem is their money. They always don't have money so Shiro now creates very strict spending rules. Emmy takes Alas for a walk and she is joined by Suzuno. The two talks about their life on earth and Emmy wonders how long this peaceful life will last. She has been in battle for so long that this seems strange. Emmy and Suzuno talk about Sato and his demon armies. Suzuno thinks that they will have to protect him at some point. Gabriel goes to talk with Hanzo. Hanzo explains that he is having much more fun now and does not want to go back and be an evil angel. Gabriel reveals that the scary watcher is also here on earth. Hanzo is very scared of the watcher. Rika Suzuki takes out Sato, Shiro, and Suzuno to eat. They explore the shopping mall and soon they find a restaurant. Shiro is talking about their money budget all the time. While the group is eating, the watcher arrives at the restaurant. He pretends to not be able to speak Japanese so Sato has to help him. Later he calls someone to give out information. Emi has found Chiho totally asleep. It seems that some kind of magic event has affected her entire body. Chiho is now placed in a hospital bed and her friends are worried. A mysterious woman in white visits Chiho in the hospital and promises a great future for her. Emmy goes after Gabriel. She has her armor and sword but Gabriel is still faster than her. Gabriel wants to reveal the truth about Emmy's mother. Gabriel reveals that Emmy's mother is an angel and her father a human. Emmy wants to move past revenge. Shiro and Sato arrive and they get dragged into the mess. Sato transforms into his devil form and is angry because he wasted a lot of money. Sato fights Gabriel and Emmy also joins in. In the end, Gabriel is defeated and goes back. The angel that saved Sadao takes over the body of Chiho and tells him about the future. The end. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and click the bell icon to get new anime recaps.